What's up guys? Welcome to Slops Locks Home Run Picks Edition. We are about to hit the greatest home run parlay ever made. But before we do that, what I want you to do, go watch the strikeout video. I do a strikeout show every single day of the week. Go watch that because there's two guys in there that have no chance of losing, probably. I don't even care if you pause this video right now, open a new screen, watch that video, and then come back to this one. No matter what you have to do, do it because I want you to watch both because honestly, this is probably going to be the greatest day of our lives. Here's the thing about tonight's parlay. Two guys are from the same game. I'm kind of new to the home run game. I didn't know, but some books won't let you parlay two guys from the same game unless it's the same game parlay. So since we have three guys, they won't let us parlay all three. I found one book that will, FanDuel. But here's the thing with FanDuel. They don't just void it if your guy's not in the starting lineup. So two of these lineups aren't out yet. So we don't know if two guys are in the lineup or not. So what we want to do is wait until we see all three guys in lineups, then parlay this at FanDuel. Right now I'm looking at it. It's $5 to win $938.90. So this is a good one. But again, Wait until these guys are in the lineup. The last thing you want is to find out one guy's not in the lineup and then the guy comes up in the ninth inning and pops out and now your bet lost. Like, that sucks. I'd rather have it like that DraftKings rules, Caesars rules, Barstools, all those. What they do is, like, if it's if your guy's not in the starting lineup, it's void. So take that for what it's worth. First guy, if he's in the lineup, the other, the other three guys should be in there. But Connor Wong, plus 550. That's at Caesars. If you don't want to parlay all these, the best price for this is at Caesars. The wind is blowing out to center field at Fenway tonight. And I think Connor Wong is the guy that's going to take advantage. This guy rips right-handed pitching. He's hit six home runs this season. All of them have been against righties. Guy's filthy. Looking at its exit velocity, I'm surprised he hasn't hit more. Of the last five balls that were thrown to him by a righty that he made contact with, four of them had an exit velocity of 104 plus miles per hour. Guy is smoking the ball. Tonight, he's going to see former Red Sox legend Connor Seabold, which could be a good thing. He's only given up seven home runs this season, but he's only pitched 47 innings too. So, And we've, we've played him in the strikeout prop. We know Connor. Connor's going to give up the long ball. So if we're going to pick a Connor out of either one of these two, I'm taking Connor Wong. The next guy, Salvador Perez, plus 375 at Barstool. Here's the thing with him. You have to play the price game with this guy. I saw him at Caesars. He was like plus 260 or something stupid like that. Like, why would you bet plus 260 if there's plus 375 available somewhere else? That makes no sense to me. So we're going to say plus 375 at Barstool. I think we're going to see somebody hit a dinger off Luke Weaver tonight. I know we have him in the strikeout game, but look, here's the thing. We, we know this guy. He gives up home runs. He strikes people out or they hit him over the fence. That's just what happens. He's given up 12 home runs this season and seven of them have been to right-handed batters. Obviously, a lefty could get him too, but our boy Perez has already taken him yard once in his career. He's only had three plate appearances against him too, so there is that. I mean, we're talking 33% here, guys. Going through Perez's exit velocity at the Genolytics, he's smoking right-handers recently. It's a sea of red. When they show you the logs, they put the hard hit balls in red. So that's why I always say sea of red. It is red, red, red everywhere. The darker, the better. Yesterday, he hit a ball 417 feet off of Kyle Gibson. He had another 300-foot laser beam. Both of those balls were 107 plus in terms of exit velocity. I think he gets one tonight. Finally, this is the chalk pick of the year. Everybody and their brothers on this guy, but Ellie De La Cruz plus 600 at Barstool. This guy's hit one home run in his career, and we called it. Remember last week, he was in the three-team parlay that almost hit. Remember when we hit, we hit one one day and then we missed one the next day by one guy? He was in the one that we missed by one guy. It was not him because he hit the shit out of the ball. Like, ridiculous. He's made contact 10 times so far off right-handed pitchers. Of those 10 times, only twice was the exit velocity less than 97 miles per hour. This guy crushes. I know he only has one home run, but he's only had 15 at-bats versus right-handers. Kids just needs a little time. He's got Zach Greinke tonight, which is a good thing. In his last six games, he's given up a home run to a lefty in four of them. Hard hit balls everywhere, too. I heard the wind's blowing out to right field at KC tonight, so there's that, too, even though I don't think De La Cruz is going to need it. Before I let you go, just remember, during the week, all we're doing is getting our reps in for home run props because on Fridays, we're getting the biggest parlay you've ever seen in your life. I think it's going to be seven legs, maybe eight. I can't wait for that show. It's my favorite show of the week. Do yourself a favor. Subscribe now. Throw the notifications on because you do not want to miss that. I'll see you guys tomorrow.